Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video, new video on LibreCAD and in this video I'm going to create an introduction to this software. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you like my videos. First link on the description, the complete course LibreCAD is available. So if you want to learn this software, you want to learn from scratch, you want to master all the different features to create your drawing, this course will be perfect. I'm going to put this on the first link on the description. You will see the model, the sessions, how, what you will be able to learn in this course. Concretely, you will be able to learn everything to perfectly master LibreCAD. So let's start with LibreCAD. LibreCAD, what is this? It is a open source software. So first, it is a free software you can work with, it is a CAD software. And thanks to that, you can work to create 2D drawing, 2D drawing, extremely important for architectural 2D drawing. Also important if you want to um, create, for example, for uh, models, for a 3D models, you just want to create a drawing in 2D with the right dimension and different view of a models. You can do this with LibreCAD. And after, you can put this for another software like a 3D modeling. Uh, software. So it is a very interesting tool to create 2D, uh, 2D drawing, 2D drawing uh, for different purposes. So first things to do when you are like this, you can see this interface. So how is this place, this interface? So first things to do here, you have different possibilities. On this area, you can create new documents, save, export and just here you will be able to activate the grid and work with the different zoom in zoom out and more totally on the left you have the different tools classify in different categories and if you click inside you can have more options so don't forget to click inside to see all the tools in these different categories totally on this area you will have the possibility to see the different snapping options. So here you have the different snapping options. So you can snap to grid, snap to uh, endpoint, and you have more options, center, middles. And just below, it is different coordinate because when you create, for example, a line or anything like this, you will have to position with coordinate. First important things to do is to see the options. So when you go on options, you have two types of options, application preferences and current drawing preferences. It's different. Application preferences, every time when you open LibreCAD, you will have these preferences. Appearance, snap indicator line, different things. Something important, you can change the language here. And something important, you have the background color on the right. So here, as you can see, the background color is wise. At the beginning, it's not wise. Uh, so most of the time, you have a different color. If you want to switch to black, to not to black, at the beginning, you will have a black color. If you want to, to sweep to white color, you can click here. And you select the white color on these panels. And you just validate. And when you will click on OK, you can have a white background. I think definitely the white background is more convenient than to work with the black background. After, up to you, but I think it's better. After you have more options about the color, we are not going to change everything. I think the most important thing is the backgrounds. If you go here, you have pass and default. Default, it is important because every time when you create a new document, you will have these preferences. I choose unit millimeter. If I want to work with something bigger, I can work in centimeter or maybe meter. If you prefer to work with different things, you can change the unit here. So I'm going to keep millimeter. If you want to create auto backup every minute, here I have five minutes, you can also edit that. And don't forget that you have also the options current drawing application and here it's directly only for this document so by default when i will introduce my work i will have a format paper i can select the format paper by default it is a4 you can work in landscape or portrait and when you will create a render of your 2d drawing it will appears on this model of paper if you you have the unit here it's a unit for only this document so you can keep your application preferences in millimeter and for example work only in centimeter for this document and here i will work in centimeter options 
current drawing preferences, let's just come back in millimeter. After you have some grid options, dimension and spleen. Something important here is dimension because when you will add dimensions, you will have a different size for your dimension and you will be able to edit here. So after how to display the windows, don't forget that you have these options and you can extend. Here it is a different tool. It's exactly the same that you have on the left. For example, you have lines, you have different tools here. And if you just go on this area, it is exactly the same tool that you have on this area. And same, you have curves. If I click on curves here, uh, not on this area, if I just click on here, we have spleen, we have exactly the same tool. So the different categories that you have on these panels are located on the left, but I think it's more convenient. So open this window, it's definitely better. And you can also go on the right, uh, you have different options. This one, this one, not really good. This one, not very important, but this one is important because so you click on this one, you have the layer panels, extremely important. And then you will have also the possibility to create a block. Why it is important to work with layer? Because you can, for example, create a layer for um, one view and an element, um, a layer for another view a layer for dimension and more things. So what is the principle? You can activate the grid. You can use snap to grid like this. You can zoom in, zoom out with a scroll wheel or you have different options and you can use one of these tools. If I select the line tools, two point lines, I can create a line. I can start where I want. You have a center, but you can start where you want. And I can, for example, create a line like this. Create another line, create another one, click here. Maybe I can create something like this with different lines. And that's it. I can just press escape and I created an element. This element, when I create a selection, I can go left click, create selection of the entities. If I want to deselect, I can press escape. When you create a line, you have a point. I can drag and move, for example, this point and press escape to drag and move this one. But if you create a polyline, I will make a tutorial about this. If you create a polyline, it is different because you will have just one entity. And you can create multiple shapes like this. It can be a rectangle also, or you can draw a rectangle. You will have the possibility to use a command line to not use the grid and directly specific point. I can create, for example, a circle on this area and I can search my center, create a circle. So you can make multiple things like this. Something interesting, you have multiple modify tools. And here it is also modified too. So for example, if I want to move an element, I can press escape, select the element, go on my move copy tools, and I need to specify the reference point. Here you have the command to use, and I can go left click, and I can drag and move at my convenience, for example, just here. And after I can delete the original or keep the original or create multiple copies. Let's delete the originals and I can press escape and I move this element. So you will have a lot of transformation tools on this area, extremely important. You have also a lot of lines that you can create if I wanted to create offset. Or just a parallel line, I can click on my parallel lines, this one. And I can just select a distance like maybe 200. Here you have some option of the tools. I can select one line. And if I arrive near this one, I can create a line with a distance offset. If I select 400, I can arrive near this line and automatically I can create a new line like this. Create another one, another one, another one, and more. So this is the type of things that you can do. After you will have some options to add text. So you can add text and you can add also dimension. So I can click on dimension, uh, I link dimension and I will have the possibility to add dimension, for example, just like this. As you can see, my dimension is very small. So this is why you will be able to go on edit on options, current drawing preferences, dimension. And I will be able to change the uh, length factor. So for example, I can change for maybe 10. Here, I can change for maybe 
10 also. Dimension line gap, I think I can work with 4. Offset, I can work maybe with 6. Uh, I can try with this. Arrow size, maybe 6. And just keep on OK. And as you can see, it's a little better, but definitely a little small again. So if it's too small, you need every time to go depending of what you want, current drawing preferences. And you have also a general scale, so it means I can work with five. And now it is definitely better. Options, current drawing, I can work with maybe 10. Like that, I can increase directly with this one. And now I have a correct dimension and I can continue just on this area. It's just that I put too much dimension because um, in my current drawing preferences, I change you need centimeters. So this is why it was not really good. I wanted to work at millimeter at the beginning. But it's not a problem. It's definitely not a problem. When you zoom in, zoom out, your grid automatically will be um, will change the ratio. And it is a responsive grid. It is definitely a responsive grid. So this is the type of things that you can do. You will be able also to manage the layer panels and to create a new layer at your convenience and to manage the property on your layers with the value for your pen. We are going to stop here. It was just an introduction to LibreCAD, 2D drawing software, CAD software, free open source. If you like this video, subscribe to these YouTube channels. The complete course, LibreCAD, is available on the first link of the description here just to introduce LibreCAD and to show you the potential of the software but if you are interested by more to learn everything step by step from scratch all tool explained step by step in a very great course it is on the first link on the description you will have the session the models what you will be able to learn and the aim is to master LibreCAD and for our next video on this channel see you ciao ciao